It's just that belt in the back, right? It just yeah. sucks it up. It's actually a spinning wheel and it's just like a Elastic to help stretches or spring. Does anything? Basically, the opposite of this. Okay. <laughs> and then there's conveyors. Does anything push the block into that belt? It's just run, running into it. It just runs over it. See, it just goes right over it. And then a sensor up here just set, determines that it blocks there, and it sorts it. Our um, controller. We got the differential drive controllable with these analog joysticks, one for each track, and you can turn on and off all the different uh, features of the robot, you can move the servos from side to side, you can move this eject thing up and down, um, so to pick up a block, you're going to want to turn on the block picker upper roller at the bottom. So I press the X button to turn that guy on. We'll also turn on these conveyor belts so that they'll be moving the blocks back while I pick up this block. The robot simply drives up and over the block. The block shoots here. There's actually a photo interrupter that will tell the computer that a block is present. And then after reading the RFID tag, it will index it either left or right using the servos. I think we're ready to pick up another block. So the the flash is there to read this the scene and look yeah, for that's for the vision system. Is that to create a shadow to identify yeah, if it's a block? We were thinking that we could actually use shadows to benefit the vision system, but if we wanted to do that, we would probably want to lower the flash down here so that yeah. the camera would get a different perspective. So how would you find a white block on the white surface? It, it, the camera uses an edge detection algorithm that's pretty good, uh, and it, the, the flash does cast hard shadows. Can you give me a parts tour? <laughs> Alright, so this is a CMU Cam 3 vision development board. Uh, this is just the camera on the front, the actual brains of it are on the back here. It's sort of mounted around some RC servos that move the blocks back and forth back uh, to either conveyor belt. And this is like the saving side and that's the get rid of at the end side. Yeah, exactly. Motor driver for the uh, conveyor belts here and for this spinning motor that picks up the blocks. We have an identical motor driver here which controls the driving wheels of the robot. So that has amps on it and everything? Yeah. Or that's what those guys are? Yeah. Those are the drivers here. They're uh, H-bridges. H so this is the main brain. It's the Motorola HCS-12X microcontroller. Uh, it's got this connector board that it sits on. It's what we custom designed so that all our components can plug into that. Okay. This is a 300 volt uh, Photo flash capacitor charger board that was actually designed by the Robo Jackets, but we stole it and um, added this flash tube. They were using it as to kick a solenoid to kick the soccer, the little yeah. golf balls. I thought, whatever happened to that uh, the dog collar shocker? Yeah, we're using that for next year's competition for the uh, perimeter. Oh, okay. We're not actually going to shock dogs with. So then this here is a beacon detector. What does it use to detect the beacons? It uses this uh, infrared photo transistor on the front that's mounted in an old flashlight. Oh, cool. Reflector. So if you point this at the beacon, so the beacon has uh, IR there lights. Is, yeah. And they blink at a certain frequency. So that's how you can tell the difference between the corners there. There's a op amp to amplify the signal that we get, and then these are tone decoders. They oh, look cool. for a certain tone. And then this is a Bluetooth serial link so that we can uh, debug the robot software while it's running. Then under here is a PlayStation 2, wireless PlayStation 2 receiver from Logitech that we integrated. 
for driving the robot around manually for debugging and such and for development. And then our power system features a Dell laptop battery that you can slide in, replace easily. It's also got the little indicator lights on it so you can tell if it's still charged or not. Then this is a RFID reader. Okay. The it's, coil? Yeah, that's reading these RFID tags on the blocks when it goes by. Uh, there's a photo interrupter that also triggers whenever a block goes through here. Okay. Our 5 volt switching regulators. Uh, one of them, this one is for the servos. The servos need 5 volts, but our battery is 14 volts, so this steps it down to 5. Yeah, th these are the infrared range finders that are looking at the walls to do sort of wall avoidance. And we've got infrared sensors to detect blocks here and here. And then we have more of them here to detect the wall in front of us.